there's something inside you that everybody has, but a lot of people are too timid to unlock. But it's been inside every human being since the dawn of time. It's very hard to describe. It's got a lot to do with that fight or flight response. And most people don't dare themselves enough in their lifetime to ever unlock it. And what these people would do is they are like knocking on the door of that and they're doing it. it takes a lot of courage. They will know what I'm talking about when the ref pulls them together and they look into the other person's eyes. That is the special part of it, is that not everybody dares to knock on that door. First of all, to help announce this fight is uh, the number 13 ranked lightweight in the world. Brad Riddell's come here to help us. Uh... It's really noticeable how much improvement people have made, not just in the fitness, but in their weight. A lot of people have dropped uh, quite, a, quite a few kilos in this last final run to the fight. Great corner, Rupata Paura. I guess it, one of the key steps is the weigh-in. Great corner, Seamus Makiri. A lot of people put one foot through the door, but they don't expect to pull the other one through, so you do breathe a sigh of relief. Great corner, John Watson. Once they weigh in, the fight's on. So we we're about 20 minutes away, so you guys should be starting to warm up. Just a reminder, this will be two three-minute rounds of MMA action with an extension round in the case of a draw. One thing I will say, go hard. You will be the most successful if you try and replicate what you've been doing at training. Try not to get the bell ring and just go absolutely nuts. We didn't train for that. Keep a calm, cool head and replicate what you've been doing for five months. That's how you will be successful here. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity for all of us to show our talent in the cage tonight. We ask that you protect our friends and family that are in the stadium tonight supporting us. We ask that you protect every fighter that enters the cage tonight, Lord. Lord, thank you. Amen. Yes! I think I've been for everything that's designed to destroy me. And now it's time to move on. What else? <laughs> what else do you have in store for me? Bring it, give it to me. <laughs> so I got three older brothers and I was their punching bag. Smackdown was massive back in those days. It just ain't no like fairy tale. Like I woke up in hospital a lot. I was suicidal at seven. All the time, I get that thought, like, why was I born? Like, what's my purpose? But instead of wasting myself, you know, like, put it to good use. And here I am, here. <laughs> I need to make UC, that's my goal right now, so I'm doing everything I can. I got a nutrition as I wake up at three, I go for my run. I've been hanging out for the fight. I want to get punched in the face, like not really, but I want to go and fight now. I want to go and flip, I want to do these things. I've been through worse, I think I already fought all that fear. It's all in or all out.
Referee stoppage in the second round. Gabby, hit her by I thought I was dreaming, it was so fast. It was like I was blinking, blinking. <laughs> I want to um, just go home and enjoy my time with my kids. I told you. There's two forms of we. There's either awe or fear. So the unknown was the fear factor, you know. But now we've come through the journey. That's just come into awe and respect for the sport. And I guess that's why I'm at a stage of Katonga Katonga Te Wairu and Minga Whakaro. I'm all settled spiritually, mentally. Yeah, let's rock and roll. Rip, rip on at the end of the day, we're all aware of the consequences. Have some fun. Do what you've been taught. But if you love what you're doing, and if you go down on your shield as a consequence of that, touch wood, that's not what I'm looking to do, but then you can walk out on the road and things can happen. So, yeah, kahore aku wa wanga wanga. Aku waha ki te mahi whawhai. Closer I get to the fight, I think the more relaxed I get. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the red corner. Please welcome Raging Rosanta One thing, my reluctance to fight Rob was just because we were the ones who'd sparred together the most. But you got to remember, it's a fight, ain't no friends. <laughs>I just need to finish what I started now. The goal won't be accomplished until I walk through and, and finish what I started. This will be an interesting fight. Good, 
good. It's nice and measured. This is good, this is good. Picking their shots is good. Knockout in the first round, raging Ropanta Pola! Tonight was the culmination of a lot of time and energy on behalf of a lot of people. You know, we had 80 of my, my whanau, Ngachi Whātu Orake, came tonight. All of the coaches giving up their time. Koto, Mahi Aninga Mahi, you know you guys, right through that whole duration forming us. So it's never about me. Kotoki tohe tohe tini, you know, and it's always in my mind. But I'm, I'm just blessed to be here, you know. Didn't go the way I planned, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, this is the game we play. Yeah. I mean a lot, you know, like coming from being unfit and not being able to do anything to doing a whole twenty weeks and going out and showing up, putting out, it was good. Yeah. Nice, nice. He was taking a bit of damage, that was a good uh, call. That was a good meet. The reason I did this, I wanted to get over my fear of like pain and like adversity. I'm terrified of someone hitting me. I was so scared and I thought, if I'm gonna get over it, I have to go to the roots. Coming into the blue corner, please welcome Hoonies Davis! But over the last few weeks, I feel like a more competitive side of me is coming up. I haven't seen my freaking opponent take a day off as well. Right? Like that. I had to really try it, or else it's going to be embarrassing. I don't know how to describe it because like I had like certain ideas in my head. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna faint, I'm gonna stay calm. And then I got hit and I was like, it's like you feel a rock, but you don't feel the pain. So I was like, yeah, I I'm done. I'm just not even gonna think if I get hit, I get hit, but I'm just gonna let my body go. is the craziest high ever. If you want to feel what I feel, you have to get up there, <laughs> go be, get beat up or beat someone up, and you're going to feel, feel this. Your winner, fighting out of the blue corner, Tony Davis. I'm so glad it finished in two rounds, though, because it could have changed like that in the third, I reckon. That was crazy.
headspace is I woke up at 3.30 this morning. I am feeling excited and scared. Yes. A few ladies at work have said, oh, I'm going to wait for fight night and see what it's like. And I would 100% tell them, you've got to give it a go. Um, what have you got to lose at the end of the day? Nothing. Some of the things that Jackie does, it's amazing. When she told us, it was like, hey, do you want to do this thing with me that I'm doing? So, like, oh, what is it? And then I was like, oh, it's just a fight. Just work out and fight. And then actually when we found out what the program was, we were like, no, but we will 100% be there to support you. Outside her comfort zone a little bit too, eh? like she comes back every day and tells us a little bit about what they've done in training. So I was like, doesn't that scare you? She goes, well, yeah, but still does it. Yeah, she just strives to be a better version of herself. Yeah. And she's also our boss. Oh. So <laughs> some of this we have to say now. <laughs> My opponent, she's one of the loveliest people. So I'm definitely not in the mindset of we're not friends. I think that once we both get in the cage, we know actually we're here to do something. We just need to beat each other up and get on with it. It's been a long journey and I'm really proud that, you know, I've made it this far. So yeah, it'll be great. See, I'm telling myself that now, <laughs> it'll be great. Keep your hands up, Wally. I never thought that I would be doing something like this. The reason I got into it is just to challenge myself, just to do something a bit different, and it's totally outside of my comfort zone. My youngest child started school this year, so I thought this is my moment to do something for me. It's been pretty up and down. <laughs> calm down a little bit, calm down a little bit, calm down a little bit. It is tough. It is tough. Oh, for sure, eh? Lots of emotions. I'd already decided when I was beginning that if I needed to cry, I would cry and that that was okay to be vulnerable and real in the whole journey. So I've just let that happen when it's happened. It's an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> I think in terms of the stress and the mind games and all the lists that all the things you have to do and remember, <laughs> it's exactly the same. Giving birth, getting married, <laughs> all of those significant life events in general. I'm not super competitive, so when all those, I made it. Might be an eye poke. Might be an eye poke. There's moments of panic in there where your body just shuts down. I was punching in. Yeah. Accidentally poked her in the eye, I was... Yeah. Because I think that punch might have just freaked her out. So to keep going. <laughs> breathe, I can breathe through anything. <laughs> Well, yeah.
day winner. It is a unanimous decision to the red corner. I am well happy because I won. Yes, I could have done better. I guess once you're up there and getting punched really hard, what the stuff that you've learned, the simple stuff, it sort of goes out of your head. So I could have done that a lot better. I made it, and that's that's the big goal for me. It's a huge sense of accomplishment. Oh, it was a long journey to get here. Yeah. Why can't you do it? Okay. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> you got a few beers this poke guy? You survived. <laughs> Fuck, beautiful. Have a shower. Yeah. Have some beer. I've been playing rugby my whole life. Stepped away from the field for a bit and wanted to take on a new challenge, so decided to go for a combat sport. To be honest, yeah, I'm worried. I've never had any combat sport experience besides, you know, a pair of gloves in the changing room with the boys back in college. My main reason for coming to Winter Warrior was to find myself again, you know? Last year was one of the shittest years ever. Me and my partner lost a baby. Coming to this, wanting to, you know, in my life. All I wanted to do was learn how to control myself again. Control my own thoughts. Control my anger. If I'm feeling a bit of stress, I try to save it for the morning so I can go, you know, like sweat it all out. I'm working on myself, investing in myself in the long run. I don't know if I'll continue to fight afterwards. I'll definitely continue to train. But ask me after that first round and I can give you that answer right there. Everything, absolutely everything. I'm just overflowing with emotions. I smiled the whole time, even when he was choking me out, I was smiling, I was loving life. There was no better feeling than walking in that cage tonight. Obviously, didn't get the dub gutted, but I made it, I made it here. I've definitely grown. I no longer want to hurt myself, no longer want to do any of that. I'm here, I'm loving my life. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.